I'm here at the You Are Not Alone Depression Awareness event and I'm going to share a turning point uh, in my bipolar disorder journey. So I was diagnosed on January 1st, 2000, a really ominous day and uh, at the time I was in New Zealand visiting family and I was working in Japan. So I went back to Japan and I knew ahead of time that after having a mania that I was definitely going to go into a depression that's almost 100% statistically proven to happen, especially after first manic episode. So I got back to Japan and my employer was really understanding. So I was working, you know, three quarter time. And bottom line is I let my home turn into a mess. It was an absolute pigsty. And in the meantime, a friend was driving me to psychiatric appointments and Fortunately, she was fully fluent in English and actually when you talk about synchronicities, the psychiatrist had studied in Boston, so he was fluent in English as well. So, but bottom line is, um, my friend and I became really close during that time. Uh, her name is Ryoko, so shout out to Ryoko. And um, one time I was at home in the pigsty and there's a knock on the door. I'm not answering the door because it's like, no, no. It keeps knocking, keeps knocking. So I'm like, who is this? So I go to the door and it was her. And she's like, hey, you know, don't worry about how your place looks. I've been there before. I know what you're going through. And that was a big turning point for me because at that point I realized, okay, I have to start getting my life back in order. I have to start getting my place back in order. And I have to start being an adult again. You know, some of us like to avoid that at times, myself included. So. You know, it wasn't like an overnight shift, but that was definitely the start of me resuming a more normal life. And I'm really grateful for that. And, you know, since that time, I've had depression at different times. Uh, probably the biggest one was when my mom passed away in 2006. Um, and I've had uh, mild depression many times. Fortunately, I'm bouncing back even quicker with different tools now. But, uh, yeah, just uh, for those of you out there who have had, I'll say, a turning point in your life when you've been feeling low, depressed, had a bad day, um, you know, feel free to share below. And if you're not comfortable sharing publicly, uh, feel free to message me. Uh, I'd love to hear about it because the more that we share our stories, the less stigma there will be and the more comfortable people will be talking about depression and mental illness. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you a bit later.